certain things raise their head or things that's like, ooh, pay me some mind, pay me some mind. I'm like, mm. no. It's fine to switch people off. It's fine to switch habits off. It's fine to turn it off. And when you're ready to reapproach certain situations that require your attention, you can go and turn it on. Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Happy Friday, and thank you for joining me for another Friday Mommy Moment. And hold on, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. The first thing that we do here is we do Friday shout out. So let's get right to it. This week's shout out is going to Courtney and Eddie. They have a YouTube channel. I happen to be going and watching videos and I scrolled upon this video where she was doing a mukbang and she's talking and she's getting into her thing and she mentions me. And sometimes I really don't know how people view me. I really don't know if I'm on people's minds or anything like that. But I just felt like she could have mentioned anybody in the world or spoke or prayed for anybody in the world. And in that video, she decided to ask people to pray on my behalf and just encourage me for being quarantined with the children and being a caretaker for my mom. That really blessed my heart to know that people that I care for care for me the same way. And Courtney and Edub, Coco and Edub, Courtney and Eddie, I wanna say thank you so much for always having us on your heart. And thank you for texting me, thank you for messaging me, and I appreciate you guys. And this week's shout out is right to y'all. Ah. All right, you guys, let's jump into this Friday mommy moment. Hold on. Y'all already know that I got my coffee in one of my favorite moment mugs by Seabird's Creation. Go ahead and check it out. Be sure to check out Seabird Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. All right, so you guys know I got my coffee. You go ahead and grab your beverage, get your quarantine snacks, whatever it is that you need to come and jump into this topic with me. So let's go, let's get into this convo. All right, you guys, let's jump into it. Today I want to come and just encourage you to hold on to the peace that you do have. And I want to encourage you to not feed into too much negativity. I know sometimes we all could get caught up in a moment and start feeding into things that really don't require our attention. Whether that be um, a person, whether that be social media, whether that be anything. The time that we do have during this time, I feel like my peace cannot be compromised. My peace is something that I really need to move forward in my day. There's so many times in my day where my day isn't just like peaceful or cool breeze or anything like that because yes, I am a caretaker. Yes, I am a wife. And yes, we do have five children. And it's rare that it is like just peaceful. So right now, I'm in the backyard filming with you guys. You will hear airplanes. You will hear wind. You will hear a lot of things. Right here, some cars, the neighbors, birds, something. A bug might fly in my face. Who knows? But with that being said, I am able to come out and have a moment with you guys because I have 
two kids testing, one kid's on break, the twins are napping, my mom is napping. I tend to have my mom and the twins take a break at the same time. And then I have my husband who's in there um, working for home. Thank you God that he is still able to do that. So it's rare that I get peaceful moments or that I get to just like press pause. And when I do get to press pause, I don't want that peace to be spent on things that really don't require my attention. You have a lot of negativity, you have a lot of people filled with a lot of things, bitterness, unforgiveness, so much craziness that's already going on, and we have to limit ourselves to what we give our attention to. Everybody's life is different. And during this time that I feel like the whole world is in quarantine or the whole world is battling this virus together, I feel like our peace is important and I feel like the things that we spend our time on is important you know we're in the house with people that some people probably haven't been in, in the house with certain people for long periods of times in a long time you know so that person might aggravate them that brother that sister that cousin that friend that roommate whoever they might not like spending all that time with them so it's like their peace is important depending on how you start your day that thing that got you upset before might not get you upset this time because you're focusing on your peace. You're like, God, all right, so I already know how this is gonna be set up. Help me to make the right decisions. Help guard my tongue, help guard my mind. And with all that that's going on, I wanna encourage you to focus on what you spend your attention on. If you know that certain people just wanna bring the bad out of you, don't focus so much on them. If you know that certain people don't really have your best interests, don't focus so much on them. Spend your time focusing on the people that matter. The people that God placed in your life to help you through this quarantine. The people that God blessed you with, like your children, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, whoever it is that God put in your life to bring you joy. Focus on those things. Don't give your attention to things that don't need your attention. And sometimes it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know, because sometimes I'll be like, oh, they want that attention? We gonna get them that attention today. But you have to press pause, you have to, you have to press your brakes and just focus on what it is that helps you keep your joy. And a lot of things that help me keep my joy is when I pray, my husband, my kids, when they're not driving me crazy. <laughs> you know, reading, um, creating, drawing, writing, certain things like that help me to keep my peace and I enjoy that. So when I see certain things raise their head or things that's like, ooh, pay me some mind, pay me some mind, I'm like, mm, no. You know, and it's fine to do that. It's fine to switch people off. It's fine to switch habits off. It's fine to turn it off. And when you're ready to reapproach certain situations that require your attention, you can go and turn it on. And be like, okay, now I'm ready to address this. I have my peace, I have my mind together, and this is going to be just fine. I'm gonna walk in peacefully and I'm gonna come out peacefully. That's things that you can do. And that's things that you have control over. So if you gonna turn it off, turn it off. Everything don't require your attention, especially if it's gonna steal your peace, it's gonna steal your joy. And as sad as it may sound, sometimes that's the goal of certain things. Their goal is to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to cause you strife. That's just the world that we live in. But during this quarantine, where you can't escape as fast as you would, I wanna encourage you to not focus on that, not give your attention to those things and to guard your peace and hold on to it because you're gonna need it. Nobody knows how long this is gonna last and when it's gonna end. So during this time, everything doesn't require your attention. You can turn it off and keep your peace. But that's what I had to come and share with you guys today. I hope that you guys are staying healthy. I hope that you are enjoying the situation that you're in and I'm still praying that we all make it through this quickly because I'm just like, Rah! Does anybody else like raw? You can leave a comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to spending time with you guys next Friday, Lord willing. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people. It is so nice out here today. I just, it's nice out here, y'all. All right, I gotta go. Peace. Thank you.